Hello guys and welcome to this Grease Pencil News video. Before we start, I want to announce my new Grease Pencil drawing and animation class for beginners and intermediate users. Get it for free on Skillshare or from Flip Normals at a discounted price for a limited time. All the links mentioned in this video are in the description. There was a lot of hype when Grease Pencil 3.0 was announced almost a year ago. We expected a revolution to happen in November 2023 with the launch of Blender 4.0. But as with EV Next, the timeline and expectations were over-optimistic. Now the Grease Pencil 2 development is halted forever, and the Blender 4.1 train comes to release day station with no Grease Pencil 3 on it. But that of course doesn't mean nothing is happening in the shadows. The official Grease Pencil chat channel is usually quiet, but if you visit it these days it's as active as a beehive. So today I bring you the latest Grease Pencil 3.0 news, a new estimate of its official launch date and what to expect from it. These past few weeks devs were working hard on porting the modifiers and most of the work there is already done. If you have a Grease Pencil 2 object that you want to convert to GP3, the conversion script now will also convert your modifiers. And as I said in previous videos, the goal at first is to achieve feature parity, which means making an almost exact replica of the GP2 features, but we have some cool exceptions. Some of them we saw in the previous GP3 video, plus a few more. Weight Paint mod will have a new gradient tool for example. Strokes mirrored using the mirror modifier are displayed in real time while they are drawn. And best of all of course is Geometry Nodes integration, which we also reviewed in detail in the previous video. As for the new timeline, we understand from the last Grease Pencil module meeting that GP3 will be ready for the public along with Blender 4.2, which should be released on July the 16th. There is a possibility that GP2 won't be removed from that version, so that users can choose to use either GP2 or GP3. And again, apart from the changes mentioned above and the improvements in performance, there won't be a noticeable difference, and only in the following Blender versions will we start seeing new features. The devs also do not promise a flawless experience at first. They will rely on us the users to further test GP3 and report any bugs we find. You may from now help with that by downloading Blender 4.2 Alpha from the daily releases page and enabling experimental GP3. To convert a GP2 object now, you select it in Object Mode and go to Object Convert Grease Pencil V3. Make sure to back your files up before doing it. If you want to test GeoNotes integration, you can also download the demo pack from my Gumroad. For more details, watch the previous video. And if you are a developer and want to participate in the project, you can get in touch with the team in the Grease Pencil chat channel. This is it guys, don't forget to check my new class to learn tons of new Grease Pencil tips and tricks. Again, all the links are in the description. Leave a like, subscribe, see you in another video, and peace.